All right, Dr. Theodore Henderson with Neuroluminance, and today we're going to talk about ADHD. Now, what is ADHD first? I mean, there's some confusion. ADD, ADHD, what is all that? Well, again, we're back to the, the, the DSM uh, book, the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Psychiatry. And they decided, the APA, American Psychiatric Association, decided that, oh, we don't want to have ADD anymore. We're just going to make it all ADHD. So ADD is now called ADHD inattentive type. And if you're hyperactive and impulsive, then you have ADHD hyperactive impulsive type. And if you have both, you can't attend and you're impulsive and hyperactive, then you have ADHD combined type. So there's these names that are floating around and, and it's, so it creates some confusion. But ADHD is actually a brain disorder. It's not a character flaw. It's not a failing of you know good manners. It's actually a brain disorder. And what we now understand is that the dopaminergic neurons, the neurons that make dopamine in people with ADHD are different. They function differently. And in fact, some of the neurons that, that modulate or sculpt or control the dopaminergic neurons are also different. And so in fact, there's probably multiple different neuronal subtypes of ADHD based, of course, eventually on genes, but we don't quite understand the genetics of all that yet. That's why some people respond well to stimulants and some don't. Now, what do you do if the stimulants don't work for you? Well, you can try a couple of other medicines and some of those medicines are pretty dangerous. I mean, I've seen people get psychotic. I've seen people get manic on some of these other ADHD medicines. I won't name any names, but they're not altogether safe. In fact, neither are the stimulants. So what do you do? Well, this is where multi-watt infrared light therapy comes in. Multi-watt infrared light is infrared light that's able to get through the skull and get directly to the brain. So we are directly treating the brain with infrared light. And what infrared light does through a series of steps is it turns on neuroplasticity and brain repair. So we're actually helping the frontal lobes re-sculpt and rearrange the circuitry so that the ADHD symptoms aren't getting in the way anymore. We, we helped modulate those neurons that modulate the dopamine neurons, and we help the dopamine neurons connect up differently. Now, can I show you that precisely cell by cell? No, I can't show you that, but I certainly can show you plenty of patients who used to have ADHD, but don't anymore. Now, in fact, let's take a look at one of those guys. Uh, this gentleman uh, is a dentist. He's taken ADHD medicines his whole life, uh, he came to treat, uh, get treated by, at Neurolumens for long COVID. But along the way, lo and behold, he says, Doc, I don't need my Vyvanse anymore. In fact, it makes me jittery. And so I stopped taking it. I can concentrate just fine. And, you know, that was two years ago. And I talked to him uh, just before the holidays here. And he is still doing fantastic. Doesn't need his ADHD meds. So a lifetime change was accomplished with multi-watt infrared light therapy. All right, let's hear from him. I got bonuses out of the treatment. Um, you don't think I'm ever gonna have to get an ADHD medication refilled. Um, I don't think I'll ever need a, a benzo again. Yeah. All right, so think about that. With, with a series of treatments, you can change your brain such that you can stop taking those stimulant pills. You don't have to take them ever again. The rest of your life, you can stop taking those pills. Wouldn't that be amazing? Isn't that worth something? All right, ADHD, big topic, great information. Dr. Theodore Henderson, signing off.